Sheesh. Welcome back. I'm currently packing up the truck right now. We're gonna get ready to go fishing. How many times do you guys do that? You guys go to your truck and you just like hit the door handle and you're like, I probably should have unlocked it. That's why I got the keys to come out here in the first place. Oh. I came across a top water lure that looked out of control. It was actually funny because little did I know I literally had one at my house like in my fishing tackle. I didn't even know I owned it. What we're gonna be doing here today is going fishing with this guy. Now, this looks kind of ridiculous because I'll be honest with you, I took it out the box and I couldn't figure out how to get it back in the box. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull it out here right now. I don't, I'm not gonna pull it out. You guys don't care that much. You're gonna see it the whole video, but this is the head banger Spitfire. And it's essentially like a new top water that came out made out of a swim bait. So we're gonna take that thing out to the pond in the John boat and see if it will just get straight munched. I have a pretty good feeling it's gonna get munched. I mean, swim baits, top water, some of my favorite things. So some of the best things you can honestly catch bass on. So I got the girlfriend here with me today. I don't know where she's at right now. She's getting ready or something like that, but goals to catch her some fish, goals to try out this new head banger and hopefully it gets bit. If it doesn't get bit, we'll probably flip a jig or something, but let's go to the pond. Let's get rigged up, packed up, you know the deal. We only got two hours before it gets dark because your boy just finished up work. So thank you guys for tuning in for this video. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Actually, just watch the video. I don't even care if you hit the subscribe button. I just got 18,000 followers at this point and no one watches the videos. And I just don't see the point of subscribing if you're not going to watch the video. Your boy's a little butthurt. I'll admit it. But it's okay. It's okay. I'll see you guys at the pod. <gasps> Alrighty, so we are here. We made it to the pond. Got the jam boat all rigged up. I gotta get tied up still, but uh, it's a little weird outside. It's like very nice out, but it's also kind of like cruddy. It's like cold and windy. So I'm curious to see how the top water is gonna work. There's like almost a wake on the water at this point from how windy it is. So top water and wind sometimes is good, sometimes it's bad, depending what you're fishing. So we're gonna see what happens. I wish it was a little bit sunnier and clearer, but that's okay. We're gonna get it done anyways. If I'm gonna start with that top water. I think after, if that doesn't work, maybe I'll throw the Zuchi bug a little bit. This is another new bait that maybe you guys haven't heard of. Really cool, interesting creature bait. I haven't got to fish with it much, so give it a try. But we also got Rachel here today. She's gonna start off with a buzz bait. So we're both gonna fish top water, but she's too busy hanging out with the cat because she loves the cat. Are you gonna catch fish today? Uh, yeah. Okay, Miss Khaki. Should we have a challenge? Nah, we got like an hour to go, so we gotta get in the boat before time runs out. So let's hope there's a five pounder willing to eat, but I just wanna try out this new top water bait, to be honest. All right, we got everything. So we're gonna get rigged up here. Uh oh, is it raining? It's raining right now. That it was gonna rain? Yeah, I know you said it was gonna rain, but the weather app said it wasn't gonna rain. How often is the weather app accurate? Well, you know, sometimes it's accurate. First cast with the headbanger. Huh, all right, I don't know, what's going on here? It just still doesn't fish consistent though. Like how slow I gotta retrieve this thing. So it looks good in the water, but the body of the bait doesn't seem to be moving much. And by any means, I'm not trying to bash this bait. I'm actually, I support the crap out of it. It's just this one in particular is not working for me. Like, there we go. It's working, 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 working. Fouled. Thank you. All right, well, we put all the top water down. I gave Rach a Guggen rattling crawl. He's gonna roll with that. I'm gonna try this new Zuchi bug. The Zuchi bug came out by 10,000 fish like a few weeks ago. It's just like a big old creature bait. This thing is wild. So we're gonna fish around with this thing. See if we can get bit by a bass. It looks super juicy. And it has a really good flutter, so. Suchi bug. <laughs> Did you get the tree? Yeah. You have a fish? Yeah. Oh, okay. Where why is your rod going the other way? Wait. Well, yeah. Oh, why were you <laughs> why are you facing to the left when you're over? I, it over. I have no idea where my rod is. <laughs> <laughs> well babe, face the direct I like <laughs> You gotta pick that rod tip up and face you gotta face it. Oh, there's one. There's one. On the Zuchi bug. Oh, that's a good one. 
Babe, this is a big one. Okay. Suchi bug coming coming in hot. Please stay on. I got the good hook set though. <laughs> Either this thing's fighting hard or it's a decent sized fish. Stay down, stay down. Stay down. Oh, that's like a two and a half, three pounder. It's not huge. Man, he will not give up. Can you pull that rat that rat out of the way, please, baby? <laughs> He's a good three pounder. <laughs> oh yeah that'll go three baby i'm the zooch the zoochie bug do you guys think tankaroos like the zooch what do you think baby think tankaroos like the zooch how much do you think this weighs you think it's three and a half <laughs> three pounds even i almost don't believe that so nice fish three pounder will help all day all right first fish of the day is a three pounder i ain't complaining there what there's one. Oh, that's a good one too the zooch is just catching donkeys Stay down. Oh my gosh. They're getting me soaking wet. You think this one's bigger than the last one? No, I don't think it's as big. <sighs> nah. Still a good two pounder. Alright. Not bad, Zuchi. Not bad. Your face has seen better days, buddy. Sorry if I did that to you. Thank you. Ah, oh, dingle. Oh no, oh no, I gotta close the camera bay. Ah! <laughs> I don't think it's gonna last long, but holy crap, we just got poured on. Now we are soaked. So I can see blue sky. It's gotta stop, but you guys know how this goes. Ah, Good thing I didn't bring the camera in the boat. That would've been awkward. <laughs> oh. Franco, you always follow me around, you know that? Franco, what are you doing? Franco! Come on. Come on. Come on. Franco, you gotta get out of my truck, buddy. We gotta go fish. Come on. Come on. Come here. Come on. Buddy, I'm sorry. You can't hang out in my truck. Alright, we're getting back on the boat. We got more donkeys to catch. Throwing it in there just like this. Reason. <laughs> See? Mew. See how I was just lifting it right there? That's a little guy. Oh, sorry, bud. But he's gonna feel that one tomorrow. Let's get everything cleaned up and get out of here. Okay, we got back from the pond. Overall, not really an amazing day, not really a bad day. I caught basically two, three pounders. Bas yeah, basically two, three pounders, and then one little guy, Rachel, got skunked. Unfortunately, is what it is. But I wanna show you guys what I was doing here today, and I wanna talk about the baits I fished, especially the top water one. Yeah, I just gotta clear some things up. Just, I hope you guys are still watching this because you might have watched the beginning of the video and you've been like, what's going on with the top water bait? Because the video was supposed to be about the top water bait, but I kind of goofed, maybe. I don't know. Let me just talk to you real quick. All right, so today I started with the headbanger and then I finished off with this Uchi bug. Let's just talk about the headbanger. I got kind of frustrated with this bait at first because I thought the bait wasn't quite working right. You know, the bait works fine, I'm sure. Do I think it's gonna catch fish? Absolutely. Do I think you should buy one of these because they're cool? Absolutely. Why did I not have fun with it today in this video when the video was supposed to be about this bait? It's kind of like a specific purpose bait and I really should have known this or I really should have just thought about this going into it, but you know, I'm. I'm just me sometimes. So what I'm trying to say here is I had a tough time fishing this bait. 
It's kind of user error. Why did this bait not work as well as planned and why didn't I fish it as much? You need mono filament. That, that's it. You need mono to fish this kind of bait. There's a bunch of talk, you know, in the fishing industry between braid, mono, fluorocarbon, right? What they're used for. Most of the time, a good bait, you can get away with using it, right? Like you can fish a frog on braid, mono, and fluoro. It's fine. Like it's going to work. A frog's still a frog. You can fish a buzz bait on fluoro. You can fish a buzz bait on braid. It's fine. It works. Like most baits that have a decent pull and that are made for top water and stuff like that, you can get away with fishing those stuff. I'm not saying I recommend it. You know, I'm not saying like go fish a frog with fluorocarbon. It, it comes down to personal preference, but a bait like this, you know, I was kind of hoping I could just have one of those days where I grab, I grabbed my two go-to setups, right? So I have two Guggen go-tos and one has 14 pound fluorocarbon in it and one has 17 pound fluorocarbon. 17 pound is my flipping. That's what I was, you know, I flip jigs with and stuff like that. The 14 pound is like, yeah, I'll do whatever with it, right? Like I might fish a stick bait. I might fish crankbait. I might fish a buzz bait. I don't know, right? So I thought I could get away with fishing this bait on like 14 pound fluorocarbon. And that wasn't the case. The bait was fouling left and right. And it wasn't necessarily swimming correctly all the time. And you know, I don't, I, I, there's so many videos out there, people fishing with this bait and catching fish and it working. So I don't think the bait doesn't work. I just think it's got to be fished with a lighter monofilament. For those of you who wonder what that means or why that is, monofilament floats. And what I think happened with the fluorocarbon was it was just weighing the front end of this bait down which was causing it to dig rather than roll. So with that being said, I'm gonna have to go out and do, try this again. Uh, I think I'm just gonna have to do it with monofilament. So I think I'm gonna have to take like 12 pound mono out there and try it again. So I think it's sick. I think the concept is sick and I think it's gonna catch fish. I think I just need to fish it with the right rod setup. That was my bad. One of those specific purpose moments smacked in the head. But it dep it's depressing too, because I know there's a lot of people out there that are gonna buy this bait when they come across it and they're gonna think it doesn't work because they might throw it on 15 pound fluorocarbon like your boy did here today. So whatever, that's my two cents on that. And then we got this Uchi bug. This is sick. This bait released by 10,000 fish, it, it's a banger. It, I, at first I was skeptical about it. I was like, this thing looks ridiculous and crazy, but it is the perfect flipping bait for me. And it's gonna be great for Carolina rigging as well. This bait really forced me to slow down my presentation, really forced me to really work that bait. A lot of times I struggle with taking my time, like I'll fish a bandito bug or a crawl and I flip, pop, pop, pop reel, pop, pop, pop reel, and I speed fish, right? And I miss a lot of fish that way and I you know, miss opportunities because I don't slow that bait down. This bait, it had so much pull because of the appendages, you really don't have the choice. Like you pop it up, you gotta wait for that that bait to get down. And I was fishing it with a 516 ounce bullet weight and it still just made me fish it really slow. So that's awesome. Where do I think this bait is going to really, really excel? Like where do you guys need to fish this? What time do you need to fish it? And like, why do you need to buy this bait? If you guys like to fish in the springtime and you like to catch big old bass, like I'm talking pre-spawners, and I'm talking late in the fall, like this is going to be the ultimate bait when you guys are fishing in cold water. When fish are gonna be lethargic and they're not really hunting bait sound, they're not going out of their way, you know, to really grab baits, this is gonna be a killer. I think because of its slow flutter, it's really going to trigger a lot of reaction strikes in those lethargic situations. So if you guys don't have the Zuchi bug, it's pretty inexpensive, you get, quite a few in your box or in your package. I would highly recommend it. This was a bait that I overlooked at first. I, I wasn't too ecstatic about it because I didn't know how I felt about it. I do love creature baits though and I'm in love with this thing. I caught a two three pounders and like a one and a half today on a cruddy day of fishing. So I can only imagine what this is going to do for me in the future. It's a big bait. It's got a lot of action, but it's also so simple. So boom. Two killer baits that just came to the market. I like them both. One, I need to figure out how to fish better. The other one, you should probably go buy it. I'm not selling this just because like I work for a catch girl. I'm just straight up saying like, I'm, I'm pumped about this bait. I like to tell you guys about baits. Um, I think the two most baits I've been pumped about this year have been the Bandito Bug and probably now the Zuchi Bug. So, oh, and the Sakoshi Bug. Sakoshi Bug is another one I'm amped about. But anyways, I'm gonna quit talking. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, do me a smash that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Peace.